my BMW M140i. I've owned this car for about two years now. And I have to say it is one of the best cars I've ever owned. Now I know that's gonna get a lot of hate, but it is my opinion. I, I, I think these cars are fantastic. I think they're brilliant. You know, where do we start? That engine, you know, three liter straight six turbo B58 coupled with this eight speed auto ZF gearbox makes for a perfect combination. Straight out of the bag, you've got 340 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. And with a remap, you're pushing stage one, 420 horsepower roughly. I'm not quite sure what the uh, torque figure is on that, but I'd imagine it's a lot more than 500. And it's coupled to the rear wheels, so your classic style of BMW. I mean, do I think these are gonna be cult classics? I'm not sure, they're the last of a breed, aren't they? They are rear wheel drive, three liter, straight six. You don't make them cars anymore, especially in a hatch like this. So this car may or may not be stage one, 40 miles an hour, seventh gear, you know, ticking over at 1200 RPM. That's not bad. Now the fuel economy for these, get it on a motorway, drive it nice and sensibly, you know, keep it to around about 65, 70. You can return over 40 miles to the gallon. That is amazing out of a three litre straight six petrol engine. However, when you put it in sport mode and put the gearbox over into its sporty setting, the characteristics completely change. So the roads are a little bit mm, sketchy. Like that. Just gives you such a fizz, a buzz, of excitement. that it makes. I appreciate some of it's probably injected through the speakers, but you just don't get bored of it. I love it. So much so I think I'm going to do that again. 70 miles an hour. Effortless. comfort mode and it goes back to a very civilized car so for some reason these cars do seem to get quite a bit of hate I know that they're you know a classic boy racer car if you like if that's what you want to call it but there's a certain youtuber and I do have to say they really wind me up he seems to dislike them or he comes across as seeming to dislike them you know, he has to, doesn't ever call them by whatever they are. He just go, oh, M1 something high. Yet this is the same bloke that will cream in his pants at the sight of a Toyota Chaser. I don't know, but you know, who am I to judge? Something else that gets quite a lot of hate on these cars is the brakes. Fellow M140i owner, they say they're not good enough. Now, I've owned a fair few cars in my time. I, if you've been a subscriber of my channel or watch my videos, you will know that I have an American taxi, Crown Victoria, and the brakes in that are like trying to stop the SS Enterprise. I really don't get what everybody complains about the brakes on this. I don't think they're that bad. Yeah, there's room for improvement like there is with everything. I really don't think they're as bad as what people make out. I personally feel that the steering is good. These cars from factory aren't fitted with an LSD. The reason behind that is BMW knew that the M2, M3, M4 were their flagship cars and if they fitted an LSD in this it would be as good 
for a quarter of the price. So they had to separate it from a full M fat car. So a lot of people upgrade them and put the LSD in. It makes it more predictable and that's great, but that's an awful lot of money. I think you're talking, what, 2K? I could be wrong, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. I like mine how it is. I, I like that little bit of unpredictability. It keeps you alive, it keeps you on your toes. You constantly have to be on it all the time. It's not like the Golf R's or the Audi S3's or RS3. Don't get me wrong, they're very good capable cars, but they're four wheel drive and they're predictable. I had a new 135i, which is the X drive system, two litre. Predictable. This is not predictable. This will kill you. This wants to kill you. And I like that. I like that a lot. The suspension. You know, it, it's a one series BMW. It is quite firm. I quite like it being firm. I know a lot of people don't like it. They hope it was a little bit softer. I quite like the firmness. It makes me feel like I'm in a racing car. So two lots of road works on the same road within a space of a thousand yards. Welcome to the UK. I think BMW kind of gave us all they had to have with this in regards to a one series. Now, you know, let's not play about. We know that the M3s, M4s, M2s, M5s, six to sevens are much better cars. There's no denying that. Not that I've ever driven one, but I feel that personally, this is gonna be a legend. And again, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna disagree with me but I just have that gut feeling and I don't want to sell mine. I love it. I want to try and keep it for as long as possible. And certainly I don't want to go anywhere near electric cars. They do not interest me in the slightest. So I've tried to keep mine looking as standard as possible. The reason being, and there's no hate to anybody else at all, certainly not to any other BMW owners, Everybody does do the same things, the M caps, the lower lip kits. And don't get me wrong, it looks good. It does look good. But I just, I don't know. I, I don't want to look the same as everybody else. While I have it all, I have quite a rare lower lip kit that I could put on the car, and I did have on the car for a little while. I took it all off. I took the MCAT mirrors back off. I unwrapped the canards back so that it, it's got the original gray. And I just think I prefer it at the moment. It looks subtle, it's, it's not in your face. It's a capable car, we know they're capable cars. I just at this stage don't feel like I wanna shout about it. You know, I like to blend in most of the time. I know in Europe, they did do an X-Drive version of this, but they couldn't put it in the UK cars because UK is right hand and everywhere else is left hand. And it was something to do with the setup, with it being right hand drive. So X-Drive never come as standard in the UK. Oh, can you imagine what one of those would be like to drive? What a car that would be. What an absolute weapon machine that would be. Sorry about that. The camera fell down. Set myself back up. And away we go again. So look, I love my 140i. And certainly two years into the ownership of it, it still makes me smile from ear to ear. It's two different cars. It's quite happy to plod, plod around in comfort. And it gives me the fuzz whenever I stick it into sport and really leather it. 
Not that I do that, of course, because I am a respectable person. Moving on to the interior. What a nice place to sit, to be fair. I've got everything directly in front of me, the speedo, the tachometer, rev counter. This one has the optional premium nav. It's a nice place to be. Now, don't get me wrong, I do know that the Audis, and certainly even the new BMWs, are light years in front with regards to their technology to what this is but I like it you know and regardless of what it's like in here it's that noise and that engine that just keeps you engaged all the time whether the manual ones will be more of a legend because there are less of them however with the way things are going and with the amount that are getting written off I don't think it would take too long for these to be just as rare as the manual ones. Prove me wrong. So in conclusion, I would say that, yes, this car is brilliant. It has lots of flaws, don't get me wrong. Rear wheel drive in the wet, <sighs> you take your life into your own hands. So look, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe, like, hit the notification bell and share away. I'm desperately trying to grow my channel. My first milestone is to get to 500 followers. So please subscribe, please like and share, and let me know in the comments what you think. I'll catch you in the next one.